Greetings to all of our folk in Arkansas, Louisiana. We like to be able to come to you from time to time and share with you things that are newsworthy, noteworthy in our conference. One of the things that I want to share with you today is the fact that many of you may have heard about the OSHA Temporary Emergency Standard that was, has been signed and is being pursued. And I wanted to let you know that the Arkansas Louisiana takes, Conference takes this very seriously as an administration. And I want you to know that we believe that this is an overreach that is going on and it affects our church. And I believe that we want you to understand that we are prepared and are already working toward everything that we can do as a church to resist what is going on. We believe that there is a separation of church and state that must take place, must be preserved. And we feel like this is an issue that we need to take a stand on. We haven't made full decisions yet, but we're working with harmony with the Southwestern Union and other conference entities within our union as we work with the North American Division and the Office of General Counsel to be able to say to the federal government, frankly, this is beyond your scope of what needs to take place. I will just say this, we do not believe that the conference should be the enforcer of government policy. And we are prepared to move forward in working with our conference executive committee to make and to take actions that will give and then try to ensure the liberty of conscience of our members and the freedom to choose how they need to be able to live and move their lives. We will keep you informed as the developments take place, but I want you to rest assured that this is something we take seriously. And I would ask you as members of our conference to pray earnestly each and every day over the next several days, to pray that the Lord would give us wisdom as we move forward, and that if it be God's will, that he would overrule this situation and preserve our religious freedom. So may God bless you, and may you continue to walk with him.